you are. I thought you were going to help me peel apples. Oh, I forgot. Well, that was the deal. I'd bake pie if you helped me peel the apples. Well, that's okay. I didn't really want a pie, I guess. Okay. So, what do you want to do now? Nothing. I'm just thinking, okay? Sure. You just let me know when you're done. Gregory, I was just up and looked in your room. There is stuff starting to grow in there. I'm sorry, I'll clean it up later. Ma'am, we'll take care of it. Thank you, Doris. Hey. Hey, something bothering you? I guess not. Well, I think there is. Why don't you tell me about it? I don't think you want to talk about it, Mom. Well, I probably will. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? What's wrong? Why won't you talk to me about the baby? This is very impressive, George. Limousine service to work? We aim to plead. Okay, yep. Let's hit the road. Oh, I am never going to get out Oh, why don't you let uh, Vivian get that? No, I don't know where Vivian is. She's not around. Wheeler residence. Brett, this is Rena. Rena, how are you? I'm fine, honey. Listen, is George St. John there by any chance? I'm trying to locate him. He just received a long distance phone call and it sounded pretty urgent. Texas boy. He wasn't too crazy about the matter. Oh, listen, if we had known when you were coming in, we would have sent someone to pick you up. Well, to tell you the truth, uh, we weren't too sure ourselves. We just sort of hopped on the plane and headed home. Well, you know, Susan, you are lucky that I'm here. I had a rehearsal, you know. Did I tell you I'm making an appearance on Ricky, Ricky's show? No. Yes. That's wonderful, Lane. That's wonderful. See. What else? Uh, uh, Ruby and Lurlene are going to be back here any second. They are going to be so happy to see you. Yeah. Well, the coop looks the same, huh? Well, you're talking like you've been away for a year. Well, it, it feels like it. Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, come on. Come over here. I've missed you. Mommy's in New York. Tell me something. How, how is Nita? Oh, she's just great. Just great. Isn't that right, little buddy? Yeah? Come here. Oh, as a matter of fact, you know I came here straight from the airport? That's right. I told the driver to take me uh, right here and take my bags to the airport manager. Not the airport manager, but the apartment manager. And uh, I told him I want to see my buddies here at the coop. Isn't that right, huh? Huh? So Nita couldn't come back with you. No, Elena, she, uh, she couldn't make it this time. Texas, the new generation. The first part of Texas is brought to you by Pampers. Pampers has been helping to keep America's babies dry for years. No wonder mothers trust their babies to Pampers dryness. but he's going to sleep for a while. No, yeah. <laughs> so, tell me. How, well, listen, Billy Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that Nita couldn't come back here with you. 
Oh, well, it's, it's going to be all right. It's just going to take a little longer than I thought, that's all. Okay, so come on. I want to hear all about your trip. Oh, we're good. Really good. Uh-huh. And then I heard what happened to Stella Stanton. I just couldn't believe it. It was terrible. Yeah, I, I, I thought, you know, I figured I should get on back here. Wait a minute. You didn't cut your trip short because of that, did you? No, no, I didn't. I, you know, when I called Vicki Bellman, though, she said Stella was still in a coma. Now, has Ruby talked to you since the accident? Yes. You know, she was pretty shaken up about the whole thing, but, well, you know, Ruby, she just bounced right back. You know, that must have been really something. Billy Joe, how, how is Nita? Well, she's doing fine. No, no, she's doing better than fine. She's doing great. She likes New York? She loves it up there. As a matter of fact, she's doing so well, it'll be no time at all before she can come on back home. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear you say that. I really am. <laughs> Third week in a row, the prices have gone up. Oh. <laughs> Billy Joe, Ruby, Ruby, Billy Joe's back. Oh, oh, here, honey. Oh, Billy Joe, I miss you so much. 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 Oh, Billy Joe, well, that's not the news I meant anyway. Billy Joe, uh, <clears throat> Lurleen, would you mind passing those nuts to Billy Joe with your left hand? <laughs> she wants me to show you my ring. Oh, Lurleen, that, that is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How is Joel doing anyway? Oh, he's just fine. Fine? He's the happiest guy in all of Texas. Yeah, well, he ought to be, because he's a real lucky man, Lurleen. Oh, thank you, Billy Joe. <laughs> hey, Billy Joe, where's Nita? I thought you were going to bring her back with you. Oh, well, she, uh... She couldn't, couldn't make it. She was awful busy with me. Oh, Billy Joe, that's a shame. I bet she was really glad to see the baby again. Yeah, they had a real wonderful time together. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be back in no time. That's right. Billy Joe, are you hungry? We could fix you something. Oh, no, no, no. We ate on the plane, darling. Oh, Billy Joe, listen, I'm going to go check on the baby. I'll be right back. No, wait a minute. I should do that. If you stay right there, the baby and I are getting along just fine. <laughs> All right. You know, I just couldn't go straight back to the apartment. I, I just didn't feel like it, you know. Well, that's okay. The coop is our second home. Yeah. You know, I, I was real glad that you were all here. Uh, Ruby, could you hang around for a while? Oh, gosh, hon, I wish I could, but I got this other stuff I've got to take care of. Oh. Sorry, I didn't know you were coming no, back. No, that's all right. I, I understand. Believe me, Billy Joe, there's nothing I'd rather do than sit here and be with you. I hate to go to court again. Court? Now, what would you get into this time? Nothing, and don't start jumping to the same conclusion. All right, then how come you got to go to court? Because Mark gave me the check for $10,000. Well, so you're going to do those commercials, huh? Uh, I don't know. It's being negotiated. But anyway, I got the holding fee, and so that means I can pay off those debts I accumulated when Aunt Mavis was in town. Well, where'd you go to do that? I have to go to the chambers of Judge Horace L. Beecham. Sounds horrible, doesn't he? Well, wait, he could be a nice guy. Yeah, and know. the moon could be made of green cheese. <laughs> I'll go with you. What? I said, I'll go with you. I mean, you did get into all this trouble because of me. Oh, Berlin, that is the sweetest thing you have ever done for me. Well, I figured after all those years of handling my granddaddy, a judge will be a snap. <laughs> Billy Joe, are you going to be all right while I'm gone? Well, sure I am. I'm just going to sit here and feel sorry for that poor old judge. I hate to leave you all alone. Will you stop it? I Elena's going to be here, and, uh, well, we wanted to talk some more anyway. You sure? Yeah, will you just... Look, I'm going to be fine. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Would you believe that Billy Joe Jr. does not like Rockabye Baby? I found that out already. <laughs> but it's all over town. Put him right to sleep. <laughs> I had the same reaction. Uh, Elena... Will you look after things for a little while? Of course I will. Ruby and I have got somewhere to go. Come on, Ruby. You might as well get it over with. Wait, get what over with? I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. You take care. Okay. Will you I'll be get, right back. Get okay? going. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Bye. Starting over, hang tough. Just. Yeah, thanks. Hey! Hey, you in there? Well, the door was open. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, 
Here she is. Oh, good morning, you two. I thought I might see you here today. Well, we just came over to make sure that everything was all set up for the grand reopening. Oh, Justin, I, I, I got your flowers. Thank you. Oh, nothing. That's nothing. Oh, no, no. A little pep talk was just what I needed today. <laughs> how is, uh, how is everything, Paige? I'm, <laughs> I, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. Well, of course you are. <laughs> well, I don't see any reason to be nervous. It's not as though you haven't done this before. <laughs> oh, now, Justin, this is a big day for Paige. Just keep it calm. I'm calm, Grandma. I'm calm. <laughs> she means me, Justin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you know, uh, she's right. I mean, there's no reason to be so nervous. This isn't such a big deal. Uh, is there anything we can do to help? Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, there is. I... Would you keep an eye out here? I have to check something in the back, but I'll, I'll be right back. Don't worry. I'll... Yes, he is here. He's, uh, hold on a second. George, it's Rena. I wonder what you want. Uh, Rena, what can I do for you? Hi, George. Uh, I hope I did the right thing, but you just got a phone call. Yeah? Well, they wouldn't say who was calling. They only said that it concerned your sister and they would only talk to you. I'm, I'm trying to track you down. You sounded pretty urgent. Uh, uh, well, Rena, thanks for telling me. George, it, is something wrong? I'll find out. Uh, thanks. Bye. What's that all about? Uh, it's nothing. George, come on. You're white as a sheep. No, it's, uh, it's, it's really nothing. It's just, uh, something I have to take care of. I don't think she's looking real good, Grandma. Now, don't you press her, Justin. Well, somebody had to light a fire under her. If it was left up to her, she'd still be out at the ranch just watching the grass grow. Not everyone's problems can be solved by lighting a fire under them. That's not the way I see it, Grandma. She was in real danger of just handing her life away. I don't think she's out of danger yet, Justin. Well, she's reopened this boutique, hasn't she? I mean, that is a sign, isn't it? And you put a lot of pressure on her to do it. I'm just trying to help, Grandma. I'm just trying to help. I know. Justin, when she comes back, be gentle with her. What do you mean? Well, I think you should just give her your best and make your excuses. You mean you want me to get out of here? Well, I don't plan to stay here for long. Maybe we should leave her alone. All right, Grandma, whatever you say. <laughs> well, thank you, Justin. Grandma, I'm sorry. I've just been uh, a little edgy. Oh, really, darling? I, I didn't even notice. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I'd better be going. I, you know, I've got a great idea. Why don't we all have dinner tonight? Celebrate the grand reopening of Page One Boutique. Really, do it upright. Oh, no. No, no, I, I don't think I can... Uh, why, don't, why don't you let me see how I feel? Sure, sure, you just let me know. All right. Well, I, I got to get back to the office. <laughs> I, I don't want uh, Marshall Oil just to go to its knees because I'm making dinner arrangements at a boutique. That's right. <laughs> you don't want to be late. No, no. <laughs> Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Oh, you, you look just beautiful. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank you. Bye, Grandma. Bye. Aren't those roses beautiful? <laughs> from Justin. That was very thoughtful of him. They came with a little sermonette. Oh, Paige. Now you know your brother's trying to do what he thinks is best for you. Oh, you? yeah. I know that. I know that he's watching me. I know you all are. Paige, I'm not going to apologize for caring for you. I don't play those games. Sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry for everything. Honey, you don't need to be sorry. You just need to take care of yourself. I will. Paige, you don't have to open this boutique again, do you? You know you don't have to. What'll Justin say? Well, now, that doesn't make any difference. No. No, I can do it. No, I'll be just fine. All right. Now, don't you worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. Thank you for stopping by. All right? 
page. No, 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 no. Don't worry, Grandma. I'll be fine. T.J. Hello, Kate. Good to see you. What are you doing here? I heard the page was reopening the boutique. I thought I'd come by and wish her good luck. That's not a good idea. Kate, look, it, I know it's going to be rough, but I've got to start sometime. We need to talk. Not today, T.J. Not today. Kate, my mind's made up. Is Paige in the back? Yes, she is. She's right here. Well, 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 isn't this a surprise? What, are you catching up on your shopping? Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, no, no, it's, it's, it's nothing. I, your family's done so much for me already. George, come on, can't you tell me what's wrong? <laughs> I'm not sure that there's anything wrong. Um, it's just I have to return the phone call and, and, and make sure that everything's well, okay. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, I'll call from my studio. Um, don't be silly. Listen, if you need privacy, use the phone in the no, I, I, I really don't want to bother you. Um, Brett, I won't be able to take you to work. Listen, don't worry about that. I, I won't, excuse me. What do you mean? Mom, I know you're going to have a baby. Why do you say that? Well, look at you. You're getting fatter. Besides, you've been drinking a lot of milk. So? You hate milk. I don't know why you won't talk to me about it. I've known about it for a while now. Have you said anything to anybody else about this? No. If you didn't tell anybody, I didn't think I should. Well, that's good. Well... How would you feel if I was going to have a baby, hmm? Okay. Just okay? I don't know how I feel. I never really had a mother and father before, so there wasn't really any chance of a baby. Gregory, you know, nobody would ever take the place of you. Yeah, I know. Hey, look at me. Don't you know that mothers always feel very special about their firstborn? I'm not your firstborn. To me, you are. That's exactly what you're like to me. I wouldn't be jealous, Mom. I'm too old for that. I know that. I'm just telling you how I feel. Okay? Mom, do you think it could be a girl? Well, there's always that chance. That would be interesting. Oh, yeah? I thought boys always wanted to have a little brother. Yeah, I know, but I, I thought it'd be easier to be nice to a girl. Let me tell you something. Whether you have a girl or a boy for a brother or a sister, they're going to be the luckiest kid in the whole world to have you. Probably. <laughs> Mom, does Dad know about this? No. And let me tell you something, Gregory. I don't want you saying anything to anybody until I say it's okay. Do you understand? I guess so. Okay. Do you think Dad would come back and live with us if he found out about the baby? I don't know about that. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. You always say that. It's the truth. Why don't you just tell him to come back? Tell him we've got a surprise. No, no, I, I can't do that, Gregory. Maybe I know this is hard for you to understand this. You know what I think about this? I think it's all stupid. Gregory, I'm, I'm sorry. Why don't you do something about it? Why don't you talk to Dad? I can't do that. I know you can if you wanted to. I know you could. Gregory. Just leave me alone. Now, Gregory. Leave me alone. Paige, I'd better be going. I can see why there might be a scene here, Grandma. T.J.? No, Kate, I want to talk to Paige. That's right, DJ. We have a lot to discuss, don't we? It's all right, Grandma. I can handle this. All right, Paige. You will call me later. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll check in. Goodbye, Kate. So... 
What can I do for you? Jenny told me that you were reopening the shop. I wanted to wish you good luck. Yeah, let's uh, hope I'm better at this than I am at uh, weddings. Paige, you know I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Remorse all over your face, I'm sure. I can help you through it. Kate said that I shouldn't talk to you. You know, maybe she was right, TJ. Nice of you to stop by. Stop by any time, you hear? You got a drink? What? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Paige. Who are you to come here? And condemn me. You get out of here. You get out of Paige, here. Paige, don't hurt yourself. Look, if you want to take it out on somebody, you take it out on me. But don't hurt yourself. You always knew how to turn a phrase, Mr. Kent. Don't trip on your way out. Thank you so much. Let's have lunch sometime, huh? Oh, Ruby, would you stop that? I can't help it, Lurleen. Those silent types give me the creeps. Well, then you go shoot your mouth off and you get us into trouble. Good afternoon, ladies. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Well, I hope we are about to clear up the matter of the state of Texas versus Ruby Wright. Oh, yes, sir. I think everything's going to work out just fine. <laughs> well, Miss Wright, if you will just have a seat here. Oh, Oh, no, Your Honor. I I'm not Miss Wright. She is. Stay tuned for the next part of Texas. Now, the next part of Texas. Uh, but, uh, Ruby, the judge is talking to you. Miss Wright, is something wrong? Your Honor, honestly, I I've never seen her like that. I mean, Ruby can always talk. Who are you? Oh, well, I'm Lurleen Harper, Ruby's friend. I'm the one that she was helping when she spent all the stolen money. Well, Miss Wright, you intend for Miss Harper to do all your speaking for you? I'm so sorry. I'm so, so terribly sorry. Is something wrong? No, no, it's just when you walked in, I... Yes? Your Honor, you are the spitting image of my granddaddy, the greatest man to ever walk the face of this earth. Is that right? Oh, yes. I love my granddaddy so much, Your Honor. He was so kind and, and, and so wise and... Somehow, when you walked in that door, I just, I was struck dumb. I was literally, absolutely struck dumb. Well, you seem to have recovered. It is an honor to meet you, Your Honor. Now, will you sit down? Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Miss Wright, you understand that the court gave you the opportunity to make restitution for this stolen money which you spent. I'm very grateful. Good. And do you have this money with you? Yes, I do. I'm glad to hear that. See, I've been named spokesperson of World Oil. Um, well, actually, that's all in negotiation right now, but I have the holding fee, so I'm all set. Uh, we are not really interested in where you got this money. Oh, well, I thought you might like to know that I acquired this legally. We tend to assume that. That's right. The check. All right, yeah. <clears throat> Did you want to see some ID or something like that? That won't be necessary. Now, I hope that I do not have to reiterate that you have acted very foolishly and that in this case the court has been very lenient. 
Oh, oh your, your Honor, Ruby has learned her lesson, really. I'm clean, Your Honor, I swear. Well, Miss Wright, <clears throat> we don't expect to see you back here again. It won't be nearly this simple the next time. I'll walk the straight and narrow from now on. <laughs> I think you should know, though, none of this was really my fault. Uh, Ruby, I, I don't think the judge wants to hear that. I would never dispute what the court is uh, trying to do to me or anything like that. Yes, but you Ms. should Hoffa. know that it's Gretchen Randolph, Randolph Ruby? my next door neighbor, who took my so. money. She uh, was really Ruby? the hit woman, and she Ruby, stole Ruby, it from me. Lurleen, I think the judge wants to hear the whole truth. I'm sure that he doesn't. You know I'm innocent. Thank you, Miss Harper. I never dreamed anybody would read those boring serial numbers. Who reads money? Uh, I'm... I'm sure that we won't bother you anymore. Thank you very much. Well, that's over. I forgot to mention, if you ever want a free beer or anything like that, just drop by the coop. It's all on Ruby. me. Ruby! Bye now. Karen? Hi, darling. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd catch you. Listen, something very important I don't want you to do for me, if you would. It's a subject that's really near and dear to my heart, if you know what I mean. It's very important to me. I'm a little distressed about it. You see, let me give you the whole story. Grandma and I, we went over to visit Paige at her new boutique. You know, she's reopening her boutique. And she wants it to be a really exciting time. Uh, she's pretty distressed about it. She's worried. She's, she's anxious. She's upset. We tried to cheer her up, but it's just no go. And I'm just wondering if you could do me this little favor if you have time. I mean, if it's not interrupting too much of your day, if you could go over there and kind of cheer her up. I mean, you could make it so much better for her. She would be looking forward to it. And I, and I, I, I think she'd like it. Do you think you could do that for me? Um... Justin, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. Rena, Rena, listen here, darling. This is my sister. I know that. I'd like to help out. Sweetheart, maybe I didn't explain myself properly. She is trying to get back on her feet. Now, I don't want her first day of opening to be a flop. I mean, I want some customers in there, you know? Justin, don't you understand this whole thing could backfire? I know. That's not important. What? You drive me crazy sometimes. I don't. Okay, um, I got an idea, okay? I will go there if I can get Mama to go with me. She's really good at handling things like that. <laughs> oh, listen, I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, well, I just hope it helps. Well, tell Vicky, tell Vicky, I really appreciate that, too. Why, why don't you tell her to buy a new dress and it's on Justin Marshall? <laughs> Justin, I'll talk to her and then I'll let you know how it goes, good. okay? Good, good, very good. I'll be, I'll be in all afternoon. Yeah, I bet you will. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, honey. Yeah, I'm just ready to call you. Who are you? Yeah, um, Justin has a favor to ask of both of us. Oh, really? And what is that? Well, Paige has just reopened her boutique today, and Justin oh. was wondering if we could kind of go down there and sort of give her a little moral support. Oh, well, honey, I'd love to, but I am very busy I, I, I know that, Mama, but Justin says that Paige is having a rough time starting up again, and, uh, oh, come on, Mama, you're good at handling things like this. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Please. Well, all right, but, but, but we can't stay very long. It's just a visit, I promise. Okay. Justin told me to thank you in advance because he really appreciates yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Paige has had a very bad time of it lately, so I am only doing this for her. Hmm? Besides, I could use a new dress. <laughs> I sure feel sorry for that old judge. He's going to face Ruby and Lurleen at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but knowing Ruby, she's going to get 10% of that money back for her finder's fee. <laughs> yeah. You two still not getting along? Billy Joe, I don't think your sister and I are ever going to see eye to eye. Well, 
I really don't think it bothers either one of us. How about you, Elena? How are you doing? Have you seen Joe lately? No, no. He, he won't see me. I'm sorry. <laughs> me too. Oh, come on. Listen, can I fix you a sandwich or something? Aren't you hungry? No, no. Uh, I think I'll just wait until Ruby and Lurleen get back here. Well, they shouldn't be gone too long. And the baby's sleeping comfortably. You know something? You should bring him around here more often. It's a good idea. <laughs> you know, Elena, it sure is good to have somebody to talk to. Well, I'll tell you something. I feel the same way. You know, unfortunately, you and I seem to have a lot in common right now. It sure seems that way, doesn't it? I'm just so happy to have you back. I, I really am. <laughs> well, here I am, home again, huh? Justin told us that you were reopening today. We thought we'd stop by and wish you good luck. Oh, how sweet of you. How sweet of him. Thank you all. Well, how do you feel about getting back to work? Are you looking forward to it? Oh, oh, yeah. I, I enjoyed the time off, though. Well, I'm glad to see you back. <sighs> Have you been real busy today? Well, not particularly. <laughs> but then it is just the first day, you know. Well... May take a while to get things going again. Listen, it's okay with me. See, I've um, I have this new attitude towards life. I, uh, I'm not going to worry as much because I, I just did too much worry. Sounds like a good idea. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, ah, uh, no, Paige, not really, not today. I don't have the time, but um, maybe I can make an appointment for some time. Oh. Well, Vicky. Why don't you just take the book and you just sign in wherever you want, okay? All right. Anywhere, all right? Yeah. Fine. You sign up too, Rena. Oh, I, uh, I think I'll come with Mama when she makes an appointment, Paige. Very lucky to have your mother, you know. There. Vicky, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Paige, take care of yourself. Hmm? Oh, I will. Well, uh, are you still staying out at the ranch? Yeah, mm -hmm. I am. Well, I don't think we should take up any more of your time. I, I can't, I can't tell you how delighted I am to see you. And I'll look forward to seeing you real soon. And soon. Bye. All right, bye. Guess we should go, huh? I think so. Mama, um, Paige didn't look very good to me. Do you think that maybe I should stay? Uh, no, honey, there's nothing you can do. But Mama, if she's that upset. Then... It's not that, Rena. She's drunk. Believe me, I know the signs. Sorry about. I, I shouldn't have yelled at you. <sighs> Gregory, adults make mistakes sometimes too. So I've noticed. Can we be friends again? I wasn't mad at you. Oh no. Well, maybe a little. Gregory. I'm gonna try to make things better. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, wait just a minute. And that may not end up exactly like you want it to. 
Do you hear me? Yeah, I know. But I'm going to try my best. I promise. Okay. I'll tell you something else, too. I'm going to have to start treating you like a grown-up. <laughs> Good. <laughs> can't put anything over on you. You don't know how hard it is. I, I have to deal with the fact that I have an 11-year-old son. Almost. 11's not that old. <laughs> I love you. And I am going to try real hard. I love you too, Mom. Just try your best. I will. I will. Doris? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be going into town for a little while. Um, Gregor be okay here? Oh, I think we can find something to do. Yeah, I can feel those apples now. Oh, I don't know about that. My kitchen's way off schedule already. Rena, can I talk to you? Sure, George. Come on in. Uh, is, uh, is everything all right with your sister? Yeah, I have to leave town, maybe for a day, a couple of days. It's uh, family business. All right. Uh, well, everything is okay here. You just take as much time as you need. Well, thank you. Is there anything I can do for you? No, everything is fine. I sure hope so, George. Don't... Don't worry about the office. You could have told me the pile was already done. Well, then it wouldn't have been a surprise. I suppose so. <laughs> See, don't you tell your mother I gave you a piece of pie before dinner. Oh, I won't. I'm going to go outside and do some stuff. So I won't spoil my appetite. <laughs> Besides, I'm full. Well, okay. Say, after dinner, you want to play some checkers? Okay. I'll get you ready for your next game with your Uncle TJ. Yeah, he's pretty good. You like him, don't you? Of course I do. Did you know he saved my life? No, I didn't. Did you know him very well before the accident? Um, kind of. See, he, he worked for my mom and dad at Marshall Oil. Why'd he leave? I don't know. They had a big fight. Your mother and Uncle TJ? No, not them. It, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> In everything. Yeah, can I go outside now? Okay, but you watch yourself, you hear? Yeah, I will. <laughs> and, uh... Thanks for the pie. It was great. <laughs> Come in. Rena, do you have a minute? Hi, Brett. Gosh, what a surprise. It's, it's really nice seeing you. Thank you. Nice you... place you have. Oh, thank you. Are you, uh, are you all right? Have, have you found out anything about the accident? Uh, I'm fine, and, uh, no, the police are still investigating. Yes, I know that. Um, uh, can I talk to you about something? Sure. What? George. Oh, sure, Rob. Well, what is it? Well, I stopped by to see him, and they said he's gone out of town. Rita, he was... Upset when you called earlier. Do you know why? I don't know anything. All that I know is that it concerns his sister. His sister? Mm-hmm. Do you know her? I didn't even know he had a sister. I thought you two were friends. I don't know if, if we ever were friends. I mean, I've known him a long time, but... Do you know he has never once mentioned his family? He doesn't talk much about himself, either, does he? No, he certainly doesn't. <sighs> He's always in such control that I thought it was strange when he was so shook up today. I think that he's had something on his mind for quite some time now. Hmm. Well, maybe when he gets back, we'll find out what it is. Not maybe. 
I am going to find out what it is. Stay tuned. Texas will be right back. Yes, Jenny. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, send it right in. Thank you. Is something wrong? Yeah, I, I, um... We have to talk. Gregory knows about the baby. I thought you weren't going to tell him. I didn't have to tell him. Maybe we ought to tell him everything. No, not yet. Well, actually, he already knows about the baby. Well, uh... Don't you think that I ought to talk to Justin first? Yeah, if you think you should. Yeah, I think that I should. I mean, Justin and I are going to have a baby. I think it'd probably be best if he heard it from me. This part of Texas was brought to you by Duncan Hines Cakes. So moist and delicious, you can bake them better than pastry chef's cake. Join us each weekday at this time for the continuing story of Texas, the new generation. <laughs>